Welcome back, update one on Trump on Hurricane Florence, which is a category for threatening the east coast of the United States, the Carolinas. We do have Isaac and Helene, and two other areas to watch, and Olivia, but today is all about Florence. Where is Florence going? Now, I'm not advising watching this in the Carolinas. You should get out now. Don't wait until Friday. You don't have any time on uh, Friday. You don't have any time. Now, I'm not going to ramble about it. I'm just going to give you some of the facts. Actually, the true information. Don't listen to the media. Listen to the official. It's not the media. Now, here. Now, this is the um, wrong thing. My bad. So there are already evacuations going, and this is what Florence looks like. It's quite laggy due to, um, who knows, but. But gassing pets, belongings, and go. Now here is the, um, cone. I'm about to show you the cone of uncertainty. Now, as you can see, it's not good. Florence is currently located at... 29.8, 171.3 was once a 170 mile per hour, making it a banning line category found hurricane. Now, what's going to happen as we go into the day, we're running out of time now, as we head into later Wednesday, it's going to begin there, and that's when you're going to have to really get going. By Saturday on 8 a.m., Florence will begin hopefully weakening. And now, by 8 p.m., Saturday, it's the last day to really hunker down next to a loved one and hope you survive. And then it's going to push inland after it slows down by Saturday. That's where we think landfall is going to happen, near Mountain Beach. But those ranging from South Carolina, especially if to Virginia and Georgia, should get out and go. You're outside the cone. Don't say, oh, I'm outside the cone or it shifts away from me, I'm fine. The cone does not contain what it's actually going to do. That's just to show you where it could go, and that's why it isn't so narrow. Notice how it's narrow until you get to five days out. That's because we don't know where it's going to go past five days. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. One. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's been to five days now. I'm not good at math. But Mano Beach. If you're in Mano Beach, get out of Mano Beach. Try to. Do not wait from Friday to get out. Now, here in Georgia, I'm going to get tropical sunflowers, wind, to rain. But you're going to get a lot of magnets. You're going to get at least a 15 feet storm sound. And since it's slowing down, all that rain is going to keep going inland. It's going to bring out moisture. It's going to bring out moisture. So, keep that in mind when planning your uh, survival plan. And then going to wind speed probabilities from you. Now, you have a guaranteed recent shot of being affected by... This thing, I mean, here's the rainfall potential. Pretty much, around 20 inches in North Carolina. And there's a very high chance of a flash flood. So when are the winds gonna come? I'm expecting tropical southwest winds to come in south day. This might be a bit of an outdated graphic, but it hopefully shouldn't. Actually, no, it is not. But the most likely time is pushing it in between 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. 
So you have uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, at least 15 hours of wins. Now going into Georgia, we should expect it from the rest of the states by the weekend. And this is just a practice thing to note. I will show you what the models are saying first before we go to the um, cell imagery and what's else there. Now, we're going to announce Carolina. He the governor's advice. We're in a state of emergency now. Your life is in definite danger. And oh my god, this lag. Fucking hell. I didn't want to get to Twitter. Well, you follow me on Twitter at Doug is a Cupcake. To stay up to date. And subscribe to Karen Genova on YouTube. To stay up to date from the current ongoing event that is Hurricane Parts of the 2018 Life of Hurricane season. It is not over yet. It is not over yet. It ends on November 7th. Mark that date down and begin preparing from Christmas. But it's not time from Christmas yet. So, so we still have a month of action to go. And the season's exceeded expectations. I'll cover it on the end of the season. What happened. But I'm just going to say if you're watching, stay, stay, stay safe. I do fan from you. And I do hope that you're watching this in a safe location. I do. Now we'll have to click this later. But I'm going to show you what the models are relatively saying. So it's a dead given what I'm probably saying. Now credit to our uh, Levi Cohen of Travel Tibbets on this website. Now Florence is going to be a scary thing. You're going to be scared of it. I know I would be. And now this is Florence. But let me just pull up a different little graphic here. We're still going to use this one because it's a good graphic. Also, it fits Florence. And I don't want to focus on the other ones. So here's Florence. Now I will show you the um, actual hurricane once a close up. But I only have 15 minutes. So Florence is a. Uh, now, notice how it's big. And this is the East Coast right here. Which we knew was going to be a big fall into this video. So Florence is going to move inland. And that's when it's going to begin to break. All, all the models say that it is. That it's going to move south. And relatively slow down until it dissipates. So, all of the models are in fair agreement. And I'll show you what I mean. We'll probably use this image. But this is um, what Florence looks like in the moment. It doesn't look very scary until I show you the imagery. So, all the global models. So, these are um, the global oh, and hurricane oh models. Yeah. But as you see, these are just what the models are saying. They're all a fair agreement. But what's out uh, where it's going to go? Now, this is quite frightening news. All a fair agreement. Okay, I didn't mean to screw that to Halloween. But the models are now began to drop off. Holy Florence. This is intensity. All right, and now, as you can see, it's gonna quickly we can this one model is completely false. Do not trust it. It's a real model, but it doesn't like one. But it can still maintain a bit of a strength, and some of them kind of raising it up a bit. So that's uh, the models are really just saying uh, move in one, and who knows what. Damn. And the German is 
But he can say satellite image of Florence. Florence is a um, very dangerous hurricane. Currently with a maximum pressure of of three millimeters. That's very deep. Now, hopefully, this image it should load soon. It's kind of buffering, so get ready for a stand buffering. But actually, it's gonna get to buffering because I think it still needs to generate. I think it just froze. Oh, I actually have to end the video to sign this out. But please subscribe and like this video for my updates. But as you can see earlier in the um, you can see but this drift is um, actually is trying to. It's not looking life right now. I'll cover the season at the end of it to um tell you my actual thoughts and loop. It's quite a beautiful sound, but you definitely see that rotation of those clouds wrapping together to create the concoction that is Hurricane Forest. And it's gonna have pack a putt. It's not gonna be some measly little rain shower. No, this is a full blown threat. Now we and we actually have no idea where it's going to actually make land. We still kind of don't know. It's in between the count, not to South Carolina, but it looks like South Carolina, Mountain Beach. Trust me, I checked. I'm not gonna zoom in because of the lag. I don't know what this thing is. I'm flipping out of control. Just bang with me here, as you can see. The imagery I'm about to pull up is quite startling. Here's the animated GIF, the Geocon GIF of Florence. And as you can see, it's showing a very large cyclone. That's Florence. With a band. Now, that band is already starting to move inland and will push some rain inland. Clouds from the storm. So, your main threat at the moment is threats. So well, as you can see, there's clouds wrapping in. It seems like this upper level band is starting to go in and on. But as you can see, this is all associated with the storm. This is all starting to push inland. Now we're doing this frontal system, which could also create some rain. So they're not letting it go on that. I can't tell where it's going. Now it looks like it's going to head for North Carolina. And you can clearly tell. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to go out to sea. That's not really the case. It's not some jog. It's just kind of slight. And now it's do tend to wobble. The eye is kind of wobbling. And it's quite a very well organized hurricane. Category fan, and it does look kind of ugly and not like some of the best songs. But I keep in mind this as well. Florence also reorganized, very dangerous. Um, and we thought it was gonna go out to sea. No, so for a mid September surprise, it's making it this ominous presence now. Now it's quite ominous how it just looms off the coast. Now, now you can't say the name intentionally is trying to do this. The hurricane just happens to move in this path, and hey, anyway. now we just use names to track them. But all I'm gonna say is I'm Douglas Genova signing off. Please follow me on Twitter at Doug as a cupcake. Please, please subscribe to this channel. For my Florence, have they said? That's all I'm gonna say. Stay, stay safe, and I'll see you. Peace.